right, so Sophia, let's talk about yesterday, okay? So, the problem yesterday, there were 37 kids in the RAP program, summer program, in the morning. Some more kids came in the afternoon. At the end of the day, there were 50 kids in the RAP summer program. How many kids came in the afternoon? So let's look at what you did yesterday, right? So, move your pencil for just a minute. Okay. So, hold on. Okay, I'm going to come talk to you and can you draw a picture on your paper to show me your thinking? Thank you. So, I want you to point to the numbers that you wrote yesterday as I tell this story. All right, so look at your paper. You'll be able to see it. There were 37 kids in this RAP summer program in the morning. Some more kids came in the afternoon. At the end of the day, there were 50 kids in the summer RAP program. Show me the number that represents the end of the day. Which one? 50. So at the end of the day, there are 50? Okay. So then let's go to this number 84. What does the 84 represent? So show me how many kids were there in the morning. Show me what number represents how many came in the afternoon. 50 came in the afternoon? Show me what number represents how many there were at the end of the day. But the problem says there were 50 at the end of the day. So is this how many kids came in the afternoon or how many kids were at the end of the day? At the end of the day. So there were 37 in the morning. How do we go from 37 to 50? There weren't 84 at the end of the day. The problem tells us there was 50. So how do we start with 37 kids in the morning and end with 50 at the end of the day? Look at your strategy here. Let's turn it over. 37 kids in the morning. Some more came in the afternoon. Some. We don't know how many came in the afternoon. That's what you have to figure out. What could you do to show some? At the end of the day, there were 50. So the question is, uh -huh, morning, what is, and that's the end of the day, and then what's this letter represent? What letter is that? F. Um. Oh, I just want to be sure I understood. So what's the M represent? Morning. What does the A represent? Afternoon. And what does the E represent? End. So how do we go from 37 to 50? That's your thinking work for today, Sophia. We're going to start with 37, but we have to end with 50. So I want you to think about how you're going to figure that out, and then I'm going to come back and talk to you about that. Now, I'm going to let you use the tools. I'm going to give you another opportunity to use the tools to help you solve your problem. They're not for playing. So if you can show me that you can make good choices with the tools, you're welcome to use any of them that you'd like. But if they're going to become a toy, then I'm going to have to take it. Do you understand? I'll be back.